Okay, so our second question is, um, by what factor does the temperature change? Now we can do this, I, I think, a lot of ways, but one way that I might just simply do it is we know PV equals nRT. Uh, again, this is like an ideal gas. We've got a monatomic um, a gas. Um, and so what we can do is just use this ideal gas equation. So we want P1 uh, V1. Uh, we know this, the mo number of moles are the same over T1. We, R is just a constant. If we took a ratio of, okay, 1, 1, 1, P2, V2 equals N R T2, we're going to uh, lose the N and the R. So P1 T1 over P1 V1 over T1 equals P2 V2 over T2. And now what we're wanting to know is T2 equals T1 times some factor. What is that factor? So um, it, we would bring this over and just kind of sort of rearrange the terms. So we have P2 V2 over P1 V1. Um, is that right? Yes, and let, well, let's evaluate this. Well, we know from the first part, um, hmm, this is curious, because in theory, uh, in theory, P1, P1 V1 gamma, oh, to the gamma, is a constant. Okay, so maybe this is not going to turn out the same. So let's try it. Uh, T2 equals T1 times P1, um, P, no, excuse me, P2 is 15 times P1. At least that's what we've got for this part. V2 is 1 fifth V0. So P1 and V naught are here. So when we do this, um, we see that we have 15 times 1 fifth. So T2 is 1, th excuse me, 3 times T1. Hmm. OK, well, how much work was done by the gas? So. Let's just sort of think this through. Does the gas do work? Well, um, we know that the, the picture is that we if we go from 10 liters to 2 liters. We know that if we think of work as equal to pressure times a volume, we know that work was actually done on the gas. Uh, does the gas do work? No, that would be the gas, you know, exerting pressure on this surface and pushing this out. So um, the work that is done uh, can be computed by um, taking um, the work equals, uh, I guess it would be delta P V equals P2 V2 minus P1 V1. Uh, well, um, that would be in this case 3 P1 V1 minus P1 V1. So 2 P V, P1 V1. I got 3 because I said P2 V2. That product is 15 times 1 fifth V naught. So it's roughly 3 times the original. Um, so 2 P V. How much work equals, uh, do we know P1? Hmm. Can we calculate it? We, uh, let's see. What other way can we do this? We also know it's equal to the, you know, um, the change in thermal energy. We also know that. We know that, um, for example, the DE thermal is equal to Q plus W. We know this is zero for adiabatic. So the work is the change in the thermal energy, which is equal to 
N C V delta T. Do we know delta T? Well, delta T is equal to um, T minus T naught is equal to two T naught. And we do know that t the original T naught is 300. So this might be an easier way to compute this. So the work here is equal to, I'm gonna, uh, I don't have an eraser, uh, is equal to two moles times, we know CV for an ideal gas is going to be three halves um, R times, I'm just going to write over this, times two times 300 Kelvin. R is equal, okay, so that is equal to these twos uh, cancel here, this cancels there. Three times two times three is equal to um, 1,200 uh, Kelvin times R, um, so uh, 1,200 Kelvin times, it's supposed to be Kelvin times um, R is 8 point, uh, you know, I'm not using a calculator, 8.3, I'm just going to call it 8 joules per mole Kelvin. I, I had two moles over here, so if I were being careful, this mole would cancel with this mole. This Kelvin cancels with ke this Kelvin. So I have 8 times 12. Um, it's roughly equal to uh, 96. Hundred joules. Is that right? 9,600 joules equals the work that was done.